in the previous videos, we successfully achieved the EM circuit car simulation using Alpha Pro and IDS. Additionally, we learned how to set up a statistical design for Monte Carlo analysis. In this video, I will demonstrate some updates in ADS 2023 regarding statistical design for faster simulations and how to utilize DOE to achieve higher design fidelity. To begin with, we now have a new statistical controller that combines all three controllers. Upon opening it, we can select a Monte Carlo analysis as the analysis tab. By choosing this option with 1,000 trials, let's observe the results. This step functions similarly to the individual controllers. Now the new feature here is the sampling method, which includes four types, Monte Carlo, LHS, HSS, and the boundary. So why do we have these options? Well, purely random Monte Carlo sampling may not be representative of all possible values. As shown in this picture, the sampling points tend to concentrate in the upper right corner. If you run it again, you will obtain another set of samples, which may exhibit similar deficiencies in different ways. To address this, we have developed improved sampling techniques for Monte Carlo that employ low discrepancy sampling to avoid clustering in unsampled regions. LHS, also called a Latin hypercube sampling, selects points uniformly in probability space, ensuring one sample in every column or row, and Hammersley sequence generates a more uniform coverage of space. So this concept can be extended to n independent uh, random variables. For boundary sampling, it involves a uniform distribution within the specified minimum and maximum values. Uh, this is useful for exploring the extreme condition of a response. Next, let's look into yield simulation. Choose yield and select the tab output Enable output data control and save data for all trials. Then we need to add a yield spec controller. In the expression, I will evaluate the inductance. We should specify the frequency range and I will evaluate the inductance and set the maximum value to 4.3 times 10 to minus 9. In the results, I choose the number for maths which shows that the yield is 94.92%. This means that out of 5,000 manufactured samples, 4,749 will pass our specification. To perform DOE, select the DOE and DOE Go controller. In the DOE Go, define the spec and the simulation instance as SP1 on the variables Select the variable you wish to include in the DOE and enter the value range. The range must be narrower than the EM data from Alpha Pro. In the results, you will witness the magic of visualizing the main effects, making it a breeze to see how each component's sensitivity to inductance plays out. Select the Pareto to display the contribution from each parameter. In this case, it becomes clear that sub H1 is the dominant factor affecting the results, and coil W1 is the second factor. By providing manufacturing vendor specifications, we can request a higher stack up resolution while reducing requirements for other factors to lower our costs. It also indicates that we can further improve our design rather than relying on the manufacturing resolution. DOE is also valuable in understanding the interactions between design elements and their impact and output variation. We could plot the effects of each parameter and their interactions. The plot gives us intuitive way to see which parameter is more sensitive and the direction of the trend like positive or negative effect. If you normalize the range of the variable, it is from minus 1 to 1. The y is variation of the result due to the variable. 
DOE provides an intuitive way to quickly identify the problematic variable. We go back to you to investigate how to further optimize our results. In this case, we will focus on sub H1. Since we only have one specification, we will label it as spec 1. In the third line expression, make sure to write your yield expressions using the minimum and maximum functions. Ensuring that the expressions use only one data point in every iteration. Please note that the use of minimum and maximum in yield analysis is primarily to facilitate the use of templates, and then you are free to use any expressions without them. Once you have set up your yield analysis, go ahead and run it. Go to Insert, Template, and choose General Design Template for Yield to display your yield results. You can customize the template according to your design and specifications by changing the names of the specs in the template. On this template, designers can enter their design specs in the designated red boxes and select any component in the design from the equation on the right-hand side. The sample output displayed here reveals that sub H1 and H1, due to manufacturing variations, have a nominal value of with a tolerance of plus and minus 20%. The yield remains relatively flat. However, the plot clearly demonstrates that coil W1 significantly contributes to the low yield in the design. Notably, when coil W1 goes slightly higher than its nominal value, the yield drops to zero. This indicates that our coil needs to be designed smaller. Let's return to the variable setup and change the value of coil W1 to exactly minus 5 mil. While keeping the other components varying, now the yield is high for all parameters. By adjusting the spec in the red boxes uh, equations, you can observe how the yield changes with respect to the chosen specs. This will assist you in identifying the specs that are causing the yield to fall below the desired level. It also suggests that we could slightly lower the values of sub H1 and H1 to achieve a higher yield. Regarding the simulation speed, the normal rule of thumb for Monte Carlo analysis is 1 minute for 100 trials, about 2 hours for 10,000 trials, and so on. So for general usage, using our new LHS sampling method could achieve 20 to 50 times faster than regular Monte Carlo for mean, and 2 to 4 times faster uh, than regular Monte Carlo for standard deviation. HSS is better for sampling a large space for later use with surface response feeding. In addition, if you have HPC licenses, it could do parallel jobs to reduce simulation time by 84%. That's all about the design flow for your robust EM circuit customization. Please refer to the links below to apply a temporary license and play with it. Thank you.